Hey, honeybee, I'm home. You honestly won't believe the day I've had. And I can't wait to finally get to spend some quality time with you. Honey? Honey? Are you home? That's strange. I know we have plans for tonight. They wouldn't just bail on me again. Would they? Honey, you better not be playing hide-and-seek with me. They are nowhere to be found. Maybe I should call them, just to make sure nothing happened. Hey, baby. I just wanted to call to make sure you were alright. We have those dinner reservations, remember? Anyway, call me when you get this. They... They wouldn't bail on me again. Right? Where were you? I asked you a simple question. Where were you? I can't believe you. You knew how much tonight meant for me, and you ghosted me out of the blue. I thought something might have happened to you. Why didn't you at least send me a text? I was worried sick. Oh, I'm sorry you were out partying with Ramona. You promised me you wouldn't bail on me this time. Five times. Five times in a row I have tried making plans with you. Yet you always seem to have something more important come up at the last second. And this time, you didn't even bother to message me, leaving me to imagine every horrible thing that might have happened to you that would leave you unable to even fucking text me. God, it feels like I'm the only one trying in this relationship. Then please, enlighten me. What have you done for us in the past three months? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that totally counts. It's like I can't even recognize you anymore. Where is that cute little bookworm that I fell in love with? The one who could talk at length about why the book was always better than the movie, or, or the one who would cry every single time their favorite character died. I miss you. Where has my honey bee gone? You definitely have. And to be honest with you, it scares me. Every night when you get the chance, you're out drinking and dancing. Baby, those people you're with, they are not good people. Because I've seen the way that being around them affects you. You used to be this bubbly optimist who would never hurt a fly. And now... Now all of that is gone. Are you happy? I mean, are you happy with me? Because if I'm being honest, I don't think I'm happy with you. I did my best to just to just tell myself it was a rough patch, but I don't think I can anymore. You've been like this for months. When was the last time you touched me? A kiss, a hug, anything. I don't remember. 
So, so I'm asking you, are you happy with me? Do you still love me? I, I thought as much. I'll pack my stuff and then you will never have to see me again. Don't. Just don't. You said it yourself. You aren't happy anymore. So why should I stay? It's not like I was hoping I'd marry you one day. I hope you find whatever you're looking for. And if one day you get away from these people, you can give me a call. Oh, fuck you. I was the one who tried. I was the only one who fucking tried. I hope you're fucking proud of yourself. Because you worked so hard to push everyone away. Your friends? Your family? Me? And now you've done it. You have no one left anymore. You are all alone. Oh, don't give me those tears. They stopped working a long time ago. Of course, I still love you. But I can't stay with someone who doesn't love me and whose every wish is self-destructive. I can't keep forgiving you. This has to end, and it has to end now. So congratulations. You've lost the final person who ever gave a damn about you. I hope you're happy now.